New developments in the murder of a professional boxer from Wellston. And another boxing champion from St. Louis shares his thoughts on this tragic loss. Our Andy Banker is live with the story only on Fox. Andy. The Major K Squad is getting a lot of tips. An elite investigator tells me that's not because of the boxer Kelly Wright was, but because of the man he was. And that has really kept investigators on the killer's trail since just after the shots were fired. They were actually literally around the corner um, from where the shots were fired. When they arrived on scene, they saw Mr. Wright laying in the street. Neighbors described him as somebody that would walk by and say hi and ask you, do you need anything? Is there anything I can do for you? Uh, so it, it's especially hard when you lose someone in the community. St. Louis professional boxing great Devin Alexander followed in Wright's footsteps. The two actually met in the ring at what was then Savitz Center in downtown St. Louis in 2005. Alexander won. I, I was happy to share the ring with him. At least I got a piece of history with him. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just sad. That's all. After we fought, he was the, one of the nicest, most humblest person. Police say someone shot him multiple times around noon Tuesday outside his home on Ben McLemore Place. Witnesses say they saw a car speed away after the barrage of gunfire. His sister says his death comes less than three weeks after she lost another brother, Damon Jones, in Jefferson City. It's a gun violence. Both of them, good guys, didn't do nothing but work. Work and took care of their family. Investigators do not believe the cases are related. Alexander hopes with all of the focus now on police reform, we don't lose sight of what is erasing lives all around us every day. Yes, you're getting police reform, but what about this huge issue we have got over here with the violence, guys like Kelly Wright and three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds getting killed, snuffed out early for basically nothing. Wright's loved ones are holding a vigil at the scene tonight at 6. The major case squad now reports strong leads in this case. They won't be more specific. Anyone with information should call the major case squad through the North County Police Co-op. Live in Wellston, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.